What is going on YouTube? I am your host, The Spinkster Cell. And in today's video, we have a new sponsor, Only Est. They were kind enough to sponsor The Spinkster Cell, and they sent over some new equipment for me to try out. This is actually perfect timing because I'm working on a phase two to my multicam black loadout, and they happen to have the pieces that I needed in multicam black. So they sent over two products. They're both gear related. And I will be providing links to their website in the description down below if you'd like to buy this exact equipment or if you'd like to see anything else that they have to offer. So without further ado, this is an unboxing slash slight review of the new gear and we're going to get it open here for you. So we're going to do the small one first. Let's check it out. I like how their boxes are actually, you know, styled from their website. You know, it's not just a plain old cardboard box. It's kind of exciting to get a new product from them. All right, and here it is. Looks like it's packaged very well. So the first thing we're looking at here is the 6th Gen Tactical Headset for your helmet, which is actually really cool because mine doesn't work too well, the one that I have bought a long time ago, because it only really gives me enough sound in one ear. Now this is perfect for my multicam black loadout because it is in multicam black, which is perfect. They have other color options available, and I really like their packaging. It's really nice, really well detailed, very high quality stuff going on here. And it even has a carrying handle. That's kind of rare. You don't see that all the time. All right, so there is a little more tape on there. We're going to cut open. Let's just do that. And now let's check out the tactical headset. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. It comes in a carrying case. Wow, that's awesome. So let's open this up. It comes in a nice hard shell case. Very impressive. I'm digging the quality so far on this. Voila, so we got a few things in there. Let's readjust the camera and check them out in higher detail. All right, so here you are with your presentation. Here's the headset. These look like some mounts for your helmet. Very nice. So far I'm feeling everything feels a really good high quality. This seems to pivot here. It's in multicam black. It looks actually really, really cool. Really, really nice. So I'm assuming these attach to the arc rails of a helmet, which is perfect the way they're supposed to, but it seems a, a much higher construction quality than what I'm used to. We'll compare um, my helmet and my old headphones to the new stuff, and then we'll see how it does. So there's the wire for the headset, obviously. Um, some more little pieces and a little tiny screwdriver. Looks like an Allen key. Um, stuff you might need. Looks like there's some Velcro tape, I believe. Here we have a little case. Oh, it's, yep, that'll fit the whole headset in there. Nice. This looks like a microphone for the headset, which is really cool. My other one didn't come with that because I got on an offer up and the guy selling it to me actually forgot to send it. So that's very nice. It looks like it's bendy and it seems really good quality so far. So yeah, we got that too. Pull out the little instruction booklet here very nice so this product is from China but the quality on this item is very very good we're gonna have a test in the backyard soon you can take a quick gander at everything again guys we will have links to the website so you can buy these or you could check out their other items I recommend it so far all right, now the actual headphones. Let's pull those out. And here they are. They're of decent weight, I can tell so far. Obviously, they're in multicam black, which is beautiful. The construction on these feels really good. Looks like we have some plastic protectors for the, the soft part, so that's not shiny. It's just a, a removable plastic. You do get the headband, which feels really sturdy. It's even got the wire running around the top there. And so far, I could say these are beautiful. Um, we have some buttons here to turn it on and to change the, uh, the settings. Looks like... Um, I'm not really sure much about these. I think these are supposed to come out. 
I better read the booklet. But I could see here we have what looks like the microphone part or where the sound goes in. These look a lot different than the headphones that I have. And obviously the batteries go behind these things right here. It's the headphones. They're, this band is really strong. Um, so let's just try to take off the plastic. So there we go. You could see the soft material. Feels pretty comfortable. Looks like there'll be plenty of room for your ears, depending on the size of ears. So these are the headphones. So they're definitely gonna be higher quality than your standard airsoft ones and the ones that I happen to own. And I'm loving them. The fact that they're multicam black and they're of superb quality is amazing. Um, the point of headphones like this is when there's a grenade, it'll cancel out the, the high decibels of the grenade, but it will increase light decibels like footsteps. So that's a really good tactical advantage when you're in combat. So I don't want to mess with these two. Oh, well, yeah, they're just little plastic uh, or rubber coverings. So you have the headphone, which I think probably plugs into here because it's that shape. And then this is probably for a push to talk um, microphone. But let me just confirm that real quick. So take that out. You have two ports there and two on that side. So it looks like something screws into that one and then you have the little port here um i believe yeah so there's an extra hole here if you want to screw it in to make sure it doesn't come out because this will go in like that and then you would use let me see it's probably in here yeah there is a screw in there so that you could screw that in and make sure that this doesn't get snagged on like a tree branch or something and then rip out your microphone it's already a pretty tight fit as it is though but it's that extra layer of safety. So that is designed to go on either side of your preference. And then you have your microphone right there. So really cool. I'm definitely liking that. Whatever side you're not going to use, I would recommend to put this back in just to keep the dust out. So then we have the bottom port. That is definitely going to be for this right here. And that would plug in nice and easy. And then this would probably go to like a Baofeng radio or something like that but I don't have one of those yet. So that's what's going on with the accessories there. You know, you got some pretty good options with a headset like this, and it's pretty well weighted, so you could tell that the quality on this is gonna be nice and sturdy. Um, we also have these. These are the arm mounts for the um, arc rails on a helmet. Now, I'm not sure how to get this on. It looks like this part gets replaced with this part, so, I'm not sure how easy it is to do. I don't want to break anything just yet. Although it looks like they just clip in. So I, I'm not sure if you just kind of move them. Yeah, you do. You just kind of move them out of space there. The wire is wrapped around it though. So you will have to do some remanagement with your wiring here. But just for now, we'll take that off for a second. And we'll take care of the wiring in a, in a sec. But I just want to show you guys that you can attach this and then you can put it on your arc rail of your speed type helmet. So there you have it. It's that easy to do. You could do this in the field if you really need to. And then this has some gearing so that it'll move. I'm not sure how you move it just yet, but it does have a swivel like this. So that's very convenient for all types of head sizes. Now, I'm not sure just yet how this is supposed to bend or if it's, it looks like it's supposed to bend or open up. But we'll figure that out in a minute. So before I put this on the helmet, obviously I got to reroute the, the wire from the headband there. And we will put this on my helmet. They come with a decent amount of accessories as you saw. So you could choose to run it on just your plain old head or on your arc rails from your helmet, which is very cool. But wait, we are not finished. Remember... In the beginning of this video, there were two boxes. So here is the other one. Just flipping it over because my address is exposed, but there is our next one. This is a pretty big one. Let's get it open. I am digging the boxes on them. They're really bright and colorful. Definitely more exciting than just your standard cardboard box in brown. So just like the headphones, we get a nice packaging on the inside as well. Very flashy and with pictures of the products on every side. 
So here's the next part. This is going to be an entire helmet, which is actually perfect for my phase two loadout. I was about to get a PTS helmet, which was priced about the same as this one, so I don't really need that one anymore, considering this one comes in multicam black. Let's take a quick look at the, the packaging here. I like it so far. It's very exciting. You can see the helmet and some details on the side here. It's cool style, which is always very important for us airsofters. And it is checked for multicam black and full protective version, which I'm not sure what that means exactly yet, but we'll find out more in a second. I think what that means actually is that there's no like holes in the top for, for air and stuff. Full protection just means it's just one full shell. But it could also mean that it's uh, a stronger material, but uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. Let's open it up and take a look. We will be looking at their website soon. My iPad is just charging, so once that's ready to go, we will take a look at the website. So... Taking it out, it is actually extremely heavy, and it is nicely bubble wrapped and protected for shipping. So this I, this item did come from China, but it did not take too long to get here, which is always a plus. All right, so presentation wise, I'm loving it. We got some things inside. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. And here is the beautiful multicam black helmet. It looks amazing. So far, feeling it and the quality of it feels really good. It has a slight texture to it. It feels really robust. It is actually quite heavy, so I'm not sure how much fatigue I'm going to have when I wear this on my head, but we'll see about that. You could see the thickness of it. It goes all the way through. It's not just the edges. This is how thick the actual helmet is. And so far, it's really beautiful. You have the same system as my other helmet, my black one, which actually broke around here in this area years ago, like almost in the beginning of my airsofting with the black. That broke, and it was always lopsided and crooked, so I'm really pleased to have a whole new helmet. So it has the same adjustment knob in the back, which I love. It's perfect, and this one seems to be really sturdy so far, and actually rubberized on the handle here, which is very nice. Uh, we have lots of padding all over it all over the back, it feels really good. I don't think my other helmet had that at all. We have padding on the top. Now all of this is removable in case you have a uh, bigger head and it doesn't fit. And we have really good forehead pad here. It does have some air holes in it. I think this is for sweating and it's gonna be really comfortable. So obviously we're gonna try all this on. We're gonna put on the black loadout and see how everything looks. We do have a chin strap which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use or not. It all depends on how tight the headphones are because on my other helmet, the headphones are so tight, you don't need the chin strap. So that's the inside. You can obviously see we have like the, the styrofoam or, or whatever that stuff happens to be for impact resistance. And that is the point of this very beautiful helmet. You can see we have some really high quality polymer arc rails and then the detachable parts here. So this is just like the other bump style helmets. But then you have a much higher quality NVG mount in the front. This one, I believe, is made of polymer. It's Yeah, it's definitely polymer. But it looks like we have a metal plate right here for where your NVGs actually attach into, which is cool. We do have the bungee strings here on each side, but they're attached here. They're not coming from the sides like other ARC helmets. This is actual multicam black because you can see the logo is inside of the camouflage. So that's really cool. So with this helmet, you actually get the cool style, which I believe is how they have the patches, the patch um, Velcro space set up here. It's all cool shapes like that. Um, I thought it would be difficult to like add a patch here, but no, it's going to be just fine. We'll do a test, obviously, with patches towards the end of the video. And we have patch space everywhere that I actually add Velcro to my own helmet. So we have it here along the back and these cool shapes, the top, all over the place. And they're really nicely done. I believe it's uh, going to stick on there very well for years, and you're not going to have any issues with anything coming off. So, so far I'm loving all these products. They're really good, high quality stuff. And yeah, soon we're going to try it all on. We're going to see how it does. I'm definitely digging it. I absolutely needed multicam black stuff and an improvement from my broken black helmet. And I have a cheap green helmet right now, which will be replaced with this bad boy. So we actually have two things that were inside of the helmet that we're going to take a look at. All right, so we're going to start with this. Oh, wait, no, it's the tabs open right there. Okay, so this, this is some helmet accessories. You have an extra one of these plastic MVG mounts. 
Um, these things, I remember I got stuff just like this when I got my other helmet. So all of your little plastic goodies that you might need, including a little rail. So that comes with it in case you need to accessorize a bit more. So in this one, ah, of course, more padding for your helmet, which is nice. But the helmet is already fully padded. I assume this is going to be for like the top there if you need extra padding, if you happen to have a very small head. All right, Interceptor, so there you have it, all the parts. Everything that was included from Only Est. They are our newest sponsor, and I really hope that we'll be working with them again in the future. Um, I wanted to do a brief comparison over my old helmet here. And then my actual first Airsoft helmet here. Now, what I could tell you is that these are both going to be cheaper around the $30 to $50 range. I believe this is the cheapest one that I have that I got from Phil. And you can see it's uh, got the jagged lines, and then this one has the oval lines. These are going to be cheaper, way thinner. As you can see, like, this is as thin as it is. And they really don't weigh much at all. I added Velcro here and on the back, as you can tell. But they're really low quality, like here on the arc rails. Um... On the inside, the padding, see this system here didn't last very long. It broke really quickly. Um, so yeah, that's that helmet. My very first one from my black loadout. And then you have this one, which is also very cheap. Um, it's a little better than the black one though. But um, you could just see that it's all the styrofoam in there and then no adjustments. So these are the old headphones. Um, they're an older military style and they didn't work nearly as good as I assume these are going to work. We're obviously going to do a test though. So you can see that they attach here, and with our new included mounts here, you could tell the difference in quality that we're going to have. So these open up like that, which makes it easier for attaching. So I'm assuming once we figured this out, I think it'll do the same thing. You could see it's kind of janky uh, what I've got going. i got a lot of patches on there. So we're going to see how many patches we could stick on our new helmet. Then we can see that we have my GoPro, which isn't looking very good, and we'll test if we can attach my GoPro mount from Brain Exploder. So I'm keeping the green helmet though for my Russian loadout, which we'll have a video coming out on very soon. It's really difficult to work on that video considering I had to drive all the way to Prescott to film sections of it. So please watch that video when it comes out and like, but. All right, so we got my Brain Exploder mount removed and this is very important for when playing Airsoft if it will attach, but I assume it will. All of these MVG mounts are pretty much the same. So this plate is made of metal, which is very good, and we'll just slide this in, and all right, so it took some convincing, but we got it in there. So now we can play Airsoft with our new helmet. Very nice. As you can see, my GoPro uh, situation isn't looking very good. This was like a $12 um, case from Best Buy for the GoPro 8, because uh, the GoPro case is like a lot of money, so 12 bucks isn't a lot. If it breaks, just buy another one. But as you could tell, it's not looking very good. My GoPro, but the helmet's looking very good and it attaches on there so we can play Airsoft with our new helmet. Awesome. So next thing we gotta do is situate our headphones set up here and take these wires and figure out a way to route them into the helmet and obviously add in the new clips and also discover how to open them and close them. So I'll take a look at the manual really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's two ways you can add these onto your helmet. It's actually kind of cool that they give you that option opposed to other ones. So with the arc rails, you can either attach it here, which is kind of standard issue, but I think what they actually want you to do is from here. It's like that in all the photos. So if you were to go from the top, it'd be like that. And if you did on the side, you could just rotate this. So uh, bear with me here. We are going to discover this as we go. The instructions told you to take off this Velcro part and then obviously we can get our wire out of this headrest, or this headset. So it's very easy to remove the wire from the headset up here. There's actual tabs to hold in the wire with the Velcro, so you just remove that and not all of it. And then there's some little rubber holders on the sides here that you just want to detach. So there you go. Now we have this out of the way and you can save it for later in case you're doing like just a, a hat or something like that. But me, I prefer my helmets. So now we have the two headphones by themselves connected by this wire, of course, and then you'll just have to find a place inside of your helmet to hide that wire, which is actually really easy to do. 
So next thing we're gonna do is add on the arm mounts to it, which are also multicam black in case you didn't notice. So I figured it out, it just takes a bit of strength. They are spring loaded and they're actually really strong and really hard to move. I think these will break in eventually so it's not as difficult because it may be a little uh, violent if that slams down on your ear, but we'll figure it out once we get into the testing phase of the video. So I don't think they're left or right, like it matters what side they go on. They look pretty much identical, but you could see the clips here for when they slide onto your helmet. So what I'm gonna do now is attach this thing onto the helmet and we're gonna get started with that. So obviously this will be on the left side, which means I will use this one so it'll slide in from there. So let's check it out. I really like how easy they make this process. There's no screws involved that just clips in and it's a really tight fit. So you go, those are ready for the helmet. And we're going to deploy the arms outwards first. Then slide in from the back. And then let it lock about here. So then this will close and it'll be on your ear. It looks like it goes in a lot. So I think this is designed to be on this side of the helmet. So I may have gotten that wrong which will be interesting. I've never done that before, having my headphones on the back. So let's see, this will rotate and then we will clamp it shut. And now it is pretty much where it needs to be. Um, it seems to be angling in a lot, but I think this uh, spring part here should be adjustable so that it's not like really tight against your head. But we'll find out in a minute once we actually put it on my head. Okay, so I got this one slid in from the top and it's in that slot. So I would probably have to push this one up a little bit. And then again, this is all adjustable, so it depends on the size of your head and the size of your ears and where those happen to be. All right, I finally got the whole thing situated. These little lock-in parts, they weren't identical on both sides, so I had to twist it around on this side so that it locked into this slot. So this should be a more comfortable position for me to have my headphones. That's how it's gonna be, and then they will shut like that. And I already test fit the helmet. It was very comfortable all around. So the top part, the padding, the headphones, all of it was extremely comfortable. Um, I'm gonna do a quick test of see how the headphones actually sound. And then we'll go in the backyard with my multicam gear and we'll get a good look and I'll talk a little bit more about it. So I just tested out the headphones. They're actually phenomenal compared to what I had before, which barely worked and I only heard out of one ear at a time. These are fantastic. Just try them on, put them on the highest setting, and everything sounds really good. And I think this will be a real game changer on the field, being able to have this tactical advantage of hearing footsteps or people messing with their gear, BBs rattling from a distance, while other people just have their plain old ears. Now, um, they didn't come with batteries, and these things open up here. These sort of get in the way of twisting them off, so it's just easier to detach this when you're changing the batteries. Luckily, they're not some weird flashlight type battery. It's just a AAA battery, which everyone should have. It's just a AAA battery, which everybody should already have anyway. So you're not going to have any issues finding batteries for these things. I had a little trouble figuring out where to put this wire. It's a lot harder with this in the way, so I'll figure that out later. But they do have clips right here that make it easier to attach the wire there. So I'll sort that out later. So here we are on OnlyS's website. So we're gonna take a quick look at their website here. This is where we obviously were sponsored by OnlyEst and we could take a look at their products. So we have the Gen 6 tactical headset for $335. That's what we have down there. And now as you can see, we also have the Bluetooth version of the headset for noise canceling. Now here's the headset um, on the website. We have multiple colors, of course, green, black, tan, uh, multicam and then multicam black so you could take a look here at our options they have other stuff for sale like the helmet of course and then we can come down here and take a look at the item description now the other one said it was noise reduction this one also has the noise reduction effect which is good so I believe you can use these with shooting real guns um, I tried the bond right now they're really um, tight fit, but not uncomfortable in any way. You can also see here where they tell you the decibel ratings of what it's good for. Now 
and then some size dimensions and what it looks like on a head and on a helmet. So for all their products, you can see there are 77 products. I'm not sure how new this company is, but I'm sure they're going to come out with more items in the future. We also have actual night vision on their website for 560 bucks. That's pretty cool. Um, and there's obviously other stuff on here that you could take a look at. I encourage you to visit their website. Pretty good deals and some really good high quality stuff coming out. And it all looks very cool. There will be links to these items in the description and also to the website, obviously. So here's the helmet. $130 about, which is what I was about to pay for the other helmet. But I am far happier with this one. So this is the full protection version. I believe they also have the lightweight version, which we'll also take a look at. This one's also in multiple colors. So yep, there's some more details about the helmet there. Um, we're also going to take a look at the lightweight version, if we can just find that real quick. So here's some more of their products. You can see they have a cheaper, more lightweight version, kind of like the one I showed you, my old helmets. Gun bags, masks, other types of helmets, all kinds of stuff on this website. It's all decently priced. So here is the lightweight version, and just as I guessed, it has the holes in it. And you can see what it would look like if you bought all of their items and you have their cool little mask there, all in multicam black, which is nice. So, I got the helmet completed here. We have the headphones on, the microphone, the GoPro, some patches, and I have my multicam black loadout, which is going through a bit of an upgrade. So, we're going to try on the helmet. I've already tried it on without the gear. And I haven't modified my mask yet to accept headphones. So it might not go over my ears correctly because I only modded my green one and I didn't have enough preparation for this loadout yet. So I'm not going to do the chin strap but I am going to close the ears up here. And now I'm going to turn on the headset. So it is the middle button. Um, it has reduced noises a bit, obviously, but I can hear myself talking through here. Um, the microphone you'll need to attach to a Biofang radio which will have push to talk. What I can tell you is that it's heavier than my other helmets, but it feels extremely comfortable on my head. Um, I haven't seen what it looks like yet with my whole multicam, you know, completed head to toe. I haven't seen what it looks like, but I can tell you one thing, it's extremely comfortable, and I like the way they sound. They're pretty loud, which is good, and you can obviously adjust the volume. But that's the headset, and I think it's really nice.